Waste is closely linked to climate change. Organic and food waste produce greenhouse gases when they decompose. Even microplastics under ultraviolet release greenhouse gases. If landfills were a country, they would come in third in terms of impact on global warming. And incineration brings even more environmental problems. What if there was a different way? What if we can stop waste from becoming a greenhouse gas by converting it into recalcitrant solid carbon? And we can do this without burning any fuel or producing any toxic fuels. The Phoenix is a revolutionary waste to carbon technology that is a definitive solution for waste management. All kinds of unsorted municipal waste are converted into inert carbon ash at 4% of its original weight. Metal and glass remain untreated. This feature creates an opportunity to integrate the Phoenix into recycling programs. You can just throw a bag of mixed household trash without going through the costly process of sorting it. The plastic, rubber, or food waste turns into carbon ash, and you can retrieve any metal or glass for recycling. It's that simple. This ash is over 70% carbon and can be used as soil amendment or to make bricks. We choose to make the Phoenix small so that everyone who produces waste deals with their own waste at its source. This design can dispose of four tons of waste in 24 hours, which reduces the need for centralized collection to landfills. The Phoenix is the size of a truck, occupying the space of one parking lot. It fits into a container, so it can be deployed to all kinds of locations, and the technology can easily be scaled up or down. The waste in the Phoenix is thermally degraded using highly energized ionized air. It is not incinerated because there's too little oxygen in this chamber for combustion to take place. This is the ion generator that makes the Phoenix a zero fuel system. These blowers take ordinary atmospheric air and push it through our ionic generator here. The highly energized ions react with the heat in this chamber to paralyze and reduce the waste. As it's degraded, the waste matter releases heat, which in turn accelerates the exothermic interaction of the ions and the thermal process perpetuates itself. When plastics are incinerated, they release sulfur dioxide, dioxins and furons, all of which are potentially carcinogenic. But what happens here is not incineration. The ions, at a molecular level, inhibit the formation of these toxic gases. The filtration system here polishes and removes the remaining air contaminants, and the exit gas stream exceeds EPA requirements. Okay, we've turned off the ion generators, and as you can see, the smoke is starting to build up. And you can see the smoke that's going in the background. It doesn't really go away. It just stays there. And I can begin to smell the burning plastic smell. And now Tammy's going to turn on the ion generator. And that sound is the ion generator turning on. It's starting to kick in right now and you can see it. No smoke. 